Good morning, it is Saturday. I woke up around 7 to prepare the boat because today I'm going to work. And yeah, it's going for one week uh, chartering. It's a flotilla, actually, it's gonna be pretty fun. It's a company created by some sk skippers. They organize pretty fun regattas for people in the 30s. Ah, sorry, it's a regatta, no more flotilla, like, uh, sing. So yeah, I'll take you uh, along on uh, flotilla sailing week. And you'll see, it's pretty fun. It's called the back of us, look at this. Bonjour, Hugo, you old salty sea frog. I hope you're well, buddy. Um, I've had a last minute opening for a skipper to join on Bucket Lust starting next week. I heard you in the BVIs. If you want to come and get freaky, uh, let me know as soon as possible. Uh, the pay, well, the pay is bad. The hours are long. The work's hard. I mean, you, you know the drill. It would be great to have you on board. Bring your filming equipment and your drone, ideally, and uh, hopefully we can make it look pretty awesome uh, give me a ding if you're interested it'd be great to have you on board cheers pal bye what's up <laughs> hey ding coming from the dungeon recognize you did you say <laughs> hey ding man recognize rupert he's big <laughs> Man, you don't got to touch me. <laughs> Not quite. Look, look at look, this. This is amazing. <laughs> You're going to make us look like a wizardry company. I hope so. All right, you guys remember Gabby? <laughs> Who came to sail in St. Martin? We're working together again. I mean, not together, together. She's working with Uwe. <laughs> I know we're waiting for the guests now. They coming in one hour. So because we are really responsible in this company, we have meetings and like doing serious stuff there. So after this, you guys have to get your shirts and skippers need flags as well, okay? You should all have safety briefing forms. I need all of your guests to sign them, confirming that you've taken them over, things like where the fire extinguishers are, and not to put their tampons down the shitter, okay? <laughs> So, if you get those back to me within 24 hours, that would be really, really great. Don't make me chase you for them, like you always, always, always do, Moose. Okay, so what we need to do now is, um, as a kind of a team building exercise, what I've done is I haven't ordered everyone the right size of t-shirt. So, no, no, this is a genuine team building exercise I learned about in London. What we need to do is we're going to line everyone up and we're going to work out which t-shirt fits Doesn't everyone work. best. So, if you guys can all... Follow me up here. <laughs> I have just checked in the boat I'm going to be in this week. Pretty classic boat, 45 foot, nothing fancy, but we'll do the work for the week. How you doing? Good. Yeah. I'm ready for it. This is the Jason. Jason? Chase? Jason. Jason. Also <laughs> chef I'm working with for the week. And we just eventually managed to stock all the food inside the boat. It's like fully packed, booze everywhere. But we made it. We're gonna join the guests at dinner and Pretty make it work. Yeah. Yeah? Let's Ready? Yeah. Ready absolutely. for that? <laughs> Alright. Alright, Rupert, can you tell us a bit about your work? So my job is to recruit the most amazing and best looking skippers from all around the world and pair them up with the most amazing and capable chefs from all around the world. And then I make sure that the dynamic works so well that they have like an orgasm of a party on board the boat every single night. And it allows the guests to have the best experience possible on board the bucket list. Robert, grab the crab. <laughs> grab it. Grab it. With your hands, not with I'm the glow I'm not grabbing it with my hands. Look at that thing go. It's going to chop me up. Yes. Change of plane. And now we're off. So it is 7.30 in the morning, first day, and the show has begun. We I'm cleaning a bit the deck right now. Gonna fill the tanks, get some ice, and get out of here. 
That's the plan. Mini skirt on, dip my body in glitter. Pop, pop, form, sneakers are the boys one of the jobs. Tip, 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 fully cause I make rich look rich off. Save your breath, baby, I'm not going home with y'all. Mini skirt on, dip my body in glitter. Good morning. Can I get some ice, please? It's 9 a.m. and it's meeting time. By the way, this is water. Boys, what's up? Oh, nice, you just See, cut my breakfast job. for me. Orange juice and coffees, no <laughs> alcohol at a bucket. I'll skip a meeting. Mm -mm. Sure, meeting now. Uh, feedback forms, safety briefing forms, okay, guys? <laughs> I need to sign and return to us for liability reasons. It indemnifies you. For any accidents or incidents which may happen on the boat, okay? Alright, we off! Woo! Okay, <laughs> We're going to the Ron Rack. How are you feeling? It's seasick, but I'm alright. Fun working on a boat, huh? <laughs> That's the place we are for lunch. Pretty cool. Salt Island. What are we having for lunch? We are cooking up some chicken and some salad and I nice have to start to the week. Fancy. Looks super healthy. They need that. Yes. <laughs> Alright, we made it to Great Arbor. Willy Tis is over there. There's some pirate action getting ready real soon. <laughs> Alright, pirates, where are we going? This is the point where I'm starting to get a uh, hate comment about how uh, flotillas are the worst thing uh, that ever happened to sailing and you know that our people are so surprised I'm promoting this blah 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 well first the worst thing that happened to sailing is the Bali 4.1 and 4.2 and 4.5 and whatever Bali ever made is an offense to sailing uh, per se second without all these uh, so-called horrible flotillas, I probably wouldn't be the sailors I am today. So let me explain. As mentioned in the previous video, I grew up in the Pyrenees and I only discovered sailing going to university in Montpellier. So as a student, uh, the cheapest way for me to get my hands on a big boat were these flotillas. In the first place, I, you know, worked for like small flotillas from, you know, different universities. They wouldn't even pay me. They would pay for, you know, my flights and my food and that's it. So I got experience. A little bit after, uh, I got, you know, sailing degrees and I was able to work for these flotillas, but they would be the only one, the only charter company that would actually give me, you know, a big boat for a week and trust me with this. And without them, I wouldn't have been able to move through um, you know the charter industry first and then the sailing industry and racing industry without this kind of first stepping stone 
apart from all the fun it was to work for these flotillas, uh, it really, really helped me in many ways. And I'll try to explain these ways uh, to you in this video. So try to be nice and watch these videos with the eyes of uh, an 18 years old who loves to sail, wants to sail more and maybe make a living out of it. And we're going on a mission because we have bottles to give to everyone. So, and this is what you do when you forget your kill cord. Are you ready for this? I'm so ready for this. Alright. So first, uh, what's a flotilla? A flotilla is, you know, a group of boats uh, traveling together. It will be really often uh, coastal and really often it will be party people. Uh, you know, it's kind of a floating festival. Lots of people rent a boat with a skipper and they go around, um, you know, for a week visiting different places and partying uh, in these places. They spend one night in different location and uh, in general having, uh, having quite a big party. They're normally relatively loud and um, relatively uh, drunk. So, yeah. so there is not only uh, party flotillas, you also have, you know, some uh, sailing flotillas that are there to help people gather confidence to uh, charter their own boat. Uh, that's what Jack, my friend with uh, Vagabond Adventure, is doing. They're organizing these flotillas where they have a briefing in the morning, a debrief in the afternoon, they plan the sail, they plan the passage together, they can use tips from, you know, the other people in the flotilla. So that's pretty cool and gives you confidence to, to sail your own boat or to charter your own boat. Uh, go check them out if you want. Six. Ah, uh, guests. Six. Yeah. Six guests. Six. Driving big boats. Uh, flotilla work has definitely taught me uh, how to drive and maneuver big boats in tight spaces. As I've been building tunnel rafts, life rafts, circle rafts. Uh, I've been, you know, parking, med mooring into buzzy Greek harbor, super small and crowded, uh, with a crew that is either drunk and jumping around or sleeping not sure which one i prefer um and you know with 30 knots of crosswinds <laughs> We're pulling in now, building a raft, Nikki Beach style. You can get all the classes you want, uh, nothing beats experience. And this flotilla, they you know give you a big boat and they tell you take it for a week, park it, don't scratch it. And that's the opportunity to yeah really get your hands on the boat, get experience to do maneuvers either with mono or catamaran, and yeah get them on the spot. And uh, that's, uh, that's a great experience. It's not that often that in your early 20s you are responsible for a group of 10 people. Not only you make sure they have a great time, but you also need to uh, listen to their needs, you also need to manage their expectation and you know just make sure that the group works uh, over you know a period of one week. Uh, the best friends sometimes are not so best friends on the boat. You're not only there to make sure they have a good time on the holiday. Ultimately, you're responsible for their lives. As the skipper, you need to make sure that this group of 10 people makes it through the weeks with all their fingers and all the rest of their body parts on board uh, when you return to port. See the sail is furled on itself. Yeah. So we need to we'll ease this one yeah. and we'll pull on the the hardest part of my job is pressing on this button here. 
fell the Genoa. Well played. Yeah, boring cruise so far. Woo! I can't hear you! Woo! What about that song? is something that will be valuable in any other sector uh, you know management project whatever you do the, for the rest of your life you'll have this experience of managing people in a dangerous slash different environment and yeah that's a great skill to have and that you can transfer to any other job I've never been really good at uh, learning a new language uh, in school. So tonight is barbecue, so it's my duty to light the barbecue, which is right there. I'm working on that, but there is a really nice view. Look at this. I don't like barbecue, but with a view like this, I, I'm buying it. <laughs> Hard time, eh? That's a rough life out here. Oh, man. <laughs> Feeling you. <laughs> the is most if not all the English I'm speaking today comes from working with crew and also colleagues uh, who came from the UK, the US, uh, from South Africa, from Australia, which also explains why I have such a weird uh, accent today. Sorry. All right, we just finished doing a tunnel raft. This is what it looks like. It takes about half an hour with good skippers to do this normally. And boom, nailed it. on this boat in terms of security is a big giant unicorn life raft <laughs> you guys doing here Most of the skippers uh, you'll meet on the flotilla will be there just for the fun. They'll spend the summer working on the water, uh, partying and meeting people. And you know, the summer over, they'll fly back to their consulting or banking jobs, um, just you know, a regular nine to five. But for others, it's a stepping stone. They'll go from you know being paid 500 bucks uh, a week and working their asses off uh, alone on a charter boat to big fancy uh, super yacht where their monthly salary will have many zeros. Hey, big man. Salut. Sante. Only a few will be stupid enough to go down the road of uh, off-road racing, but that's another story. Regardless of the path everyone takes, uh, your skipper friends will become your, you know, your friends for life. It doesn't matter if you see them only once a year, really often at the other end of the world and really often in the pub on the other side of the harbour. These sailors will become your network. 
Martin Stott is a skipper and on his free time is a flamingo shepherd. This is what I like to call Cleopatra. I studied in a business school and it's been 10 years that life has proven me that my selling bodies are a much better network than my business school will ever be. I mean, I don't want to talk too much business because we're on a beautiful beach, but uh, sales have been pretty good and uh, yeah, we've had a pretty good time. I'm doing, I'm doing a video on, uh, on uh, Bucket Lust uh, this week and yeah, just Bucket to... Lust is epic. Yeah, you like it? <laughs> so the legend, the legend. Radio's in guys, James, can you help me? Just too lazy to put my dinghy down. I mean, look at this beautiful dinghy already. All right, everyone, jump in the dinghy. Where does the sea skip from? Where does the sea skip from? So, if you like to dress in funky costumes and cover yourself in glitter and sail with a ton of other people in funky costumes and glitter, then you should do bucket okay. list. If you like something more chill, yeah. then I think a private jet. But you're talking not from the guest point of view, you're talking from the working point of view. Ah, uh, yeah, I mean, I love dressing in funny costumes <laughs> and glitters. <laughs> so if you can do this as you work, it's even better, right? Absolutely. <laughs> These people you have worked with and that you know you can trust with your life, they will uh, become friends for life and reliable as fuck. Through my videos, you've met uh, Jorge, you've met Ryan, Jack, Papao. Uh, they became, you know, my best friends and I've met them on Party Flotillas. I'm quite out of the game now, but basically get, you know, professional license. Um, you know, AYA, day skipper or some equivalent of from your country. Uh, commercially endorse it, so make sure you have your, all your safety trainings in. And then just go and apply to all those flotillas. If you work hard, if you can handle a crew of 10 drunk people and can keep your shit together through a whole season, many opportunities will open up for you. So yes, flotillas are a noisy bunch of people. But look, in general, they're only in your anchorage for one night, so handle that. And if you're a young person who wants to travel the world and make money out of you know, working on sailboats, that's an experience to have. And that's a, you know, a path that you might want to go down to. And you'll see where this brings you. Look, you brought me here. Peglisse, peglisse. Hey Rupert, how are you doing? Yeah, you've seen the video. All right, you think people will understand why flotillas are necessary, Evel? All right, cool. Yeah, sounds good. Now just send the money, will you? All right, bye.